This is from Palladium. You know the Palladium nightclub on 14th Street? Me and Dan Jung, we go to the party, we get high, and they have TV rotating on the stage. Everybody freaked out. So, so wonderful. Dan Jung saw this and started to make video work. My name is Chi-Chen Lui, C-H-I-T-I-E-N-L-U-I. My profession is a technician or engineer. I met with him around 69. He came to my shop with the portal pad. He said he had a modification and asked me my opinion. I look at it and I said, it's horrible, leave it. So he left it and I adjusted everything. He fell in love with me. I mean, he and I would grow up about the same period of time. He grew up with the crystal radio and two. I, I did too. So we, we talked the same language. Yeah, I think he's crazy. One day, I was in Chicago, his wife and I, and we went to MoMA discussing about how to preserve Nanjun Pai's artwork. And they talking about all the difficulty and everything. So Chicago was right next to me. I raised my hand, I said, I can take care of that. So ever since then, I take care of all his work as much as I can. I've been collecting equipment from Radio Row. Now, you don't care, you don't know what Radio Row, Radio Row is Cortland Street before World Trade Center. So when we come here, right away, we look for where can I buy second hand or surplus equipment. Radio Row was the play. When they built World Trade Center, all the Radio Row, all the shop has to evacuate or has to go. So, uh, a surplus store, he see me go there all the time. He said, I got, I got two more days. Do you want the store for $50? I said, I take it. So I, ha I have all the motors and everything. I open the shop for two days. I make my money back. <laughs> I told my daughter, the reason I got this building is for all my equipment. That's all that my passion is, all the old equipment right here. Or the ENG camera, you could use to buy a house, buy a building. You're looking at first mechanical television, 1928. The disc has 48 holes or something. So each hole, when it rotates, each, each dot become a line. 48 line, you become an image. Very, very primitive, but work. We discovered this a long time ago. I think Edison invented a light bulb, then someone put a play, and the CRT started. Uh, CRT basically is a filament coating with radiation. Once the heater is created a beam, the narrow beam is magnetic controllable and scan the phosphor of the screen. Any Nanjun Pai's artwork when they get old, they are CRT. They all will, they all will get old and they get brown and wrong color. So what we do is we we custom fit whatever the artwork is with this different CRT, new CRT or something equivalent to to restore the tube, to restore the, his artwork. Well, we just want to keep Nan Jun Pai's artwork alive because CRT, they're very fragile. They, they go back very quick. So my name is Raphael Shirley and I've been working with CT Louis since 2005. My main role with the CT Louis is to interface with the museums and different Nam Junpei owners. Our effort has been to try to 
to stay as close as possible to the original for the fact that now there's this uh, obsolescence of the CRT, so that's really uh, a challenge. And we've done a lot of research to try to uh, figure out which technology would be the best for uh, maintaining the authenticity, the originality, the, the voice of Namjoon. So I have here an original uh, CRT that was part of this prototype that you see behind me. And uh, this is a project we did just recently with a Detroit Institute of Art. And uh, we've extracted all the CRTs from the originals and uh, replaced uh, these original displays with this more new technology, which is an LCD screen. And so this uh, consumes a lot less electricity, produces a lot less heat. And, you know, from what our understanding and a lot of discussions with the manufacturers has a longer lifespan than uh, the vintage CRT is. The knowledge is going to be get lost. Also, CRT is high voltage. Most of young people don't want to get, you know, don't want to touch high voltage. So, since I have all the parts, I have all the knowledge, it's easy for me to teach someone to continue with it. And as I get older, later on, my intern, Tizu, would take over. Sometimes this big capacitor contains high voltage for a long time, so you make sure discharge it again, not to get the electric shock. C.T. Louis feels uh, ready to pass on his knowledge. And so uh, we've started uh, training Tezu so that uh, we can feel uh, prepared for future requests. Gradually, I'm, go I'm gonna learn uh, this technology. Then uh, might be I have a chance to yeah, helping to make uh, Navajun Bex artwork alive. If I become those kind of succession, uh, must be such an honor. Without uh, know this kind of history, uh, we can lose lots of capability. We might find more way to use this technology. So not just learning the history of the technology, but its real story uh, make a young generation like me and younger generation might yeah, got lots of inspiration from his story. I was thinking Senior Tizu could help me teach people, we could teach more people, then I retire. <laughs>